welcome to the next episode of Decans with Dean. I am your host this evening. I am Dietmar Ostermann and I'm the regular guy from Long Island. This is a special show! I say that a lot but it really is tonight. We are tasting two of Napa Valley's best wines overall. You all have heard about the Tokalon Vineyard. Arguably that piece of land in Oakville is the birthplace of Napa Valley Cabernet. It's fought over by quite a few legal disputes. But by and now, half of the Tokalon vineyard is solidly in Robert Mondavi's hands. And the other half of Tokalon is in the Beckstoffer hand. And Andy Beckstoffer is a vintner. He's not a winemaker, so he sells this beautiful, expensive, best, Cabernet in the world to some of the best winemakers in Napa Valley that want to create a Tocalon edition of their wine. 20 of the who is who in the Napa winemaking industry for enormous prices. So some of those uh, more famous vineyards that are buying a Tocalon lot is uh, Schrader. He's probably the biggest user of Beckstoffer's uh, arrangement. Provenance, Paul Hobbs, Alpha Omega since many many years, Janssen, Tour, Macaulay, Bounty Hunter, B Sellers, Cliff Lady, <music> Carter, The Debate, Amici, vice versa, the Marlette family, and Riem Sellers, to name some of the most important of the few. And I have here tonight with you, number one, from Robert Mondavi, the real Tocalon. This wine is better than the reserve Robert Mondavi, which comes from the Tocalon vineyard. This is the selection of the selection, and you can get this wine only at Robert Mondavi in Napa Valley at the winery. It's not available in regular distribution. favorites you have seen this in the show before Cliff Lady and here the Beckstoffer to Cologne version of Cliff Lady both of these are 2016 wines and the Beckstoffer to Cologne in 2016 was rated by Wine Spectator 96 points so these wines are as good as it gets and I now want to do a parallel tasting with you of the different sides of the Tocalon vineyard. Let's start off with Robert Mondavi's song. And fittingly, I have my beautiful wooden and sterling uh, wine opener from the Oakville grocery store that I bought recently on our trip. Comes right out. And of course, in this show, I have with me as always my longtime friend and partner, the Corkal. <laughs> okay, let's do the Tokalon from Mandavi. The color, dark ruby red, it doesn't get any darker. Thick lines in the glass indicating high alcohol. 
14.5%. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. The O pops up in the nose. 2016 obviously was a beautiful vintage in Napa Valley. I would say the best of the decade, if not the best of all. Blackberry fruit, no doubt. A little bit of vanilla on the nose from the aging process and the oak. Multi-faceted, dominating fruit, however. Blackberry, a little bit of blackcurrant. Let's give it a whirl. The fruit is balanced with the alcohol and some fresh acidity. There is some oak in the mouth. There is some vanilla on the mouth. It has some strong coffee taste. Multifaceted. It's a beauty. It definitely needs an hour of decanting. The wine has enormous potential. Easily goes another 10, 15 years. 2016, quite young to drink for good wine from Napa right now. However, I give it a 4.8. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm coming to candidate number two, Cliff Lady. My team and I recently visited Cliff Lady and Mondavi. The legendary Cliff Lady heart. We had a beautiful tasting on the Lady Terrace as well as on the Mondavi Terrace. Hi Mark, how is it going? Decants with thee. Yeah. <laughs> Love yeah. it. Super okay. good. Love it. Peggy, what's going on? Katie. All good. We got a good one. We're still standing. Call Kristen. <laughs> Another try. Coco. Okay, glass number two. Cliff Lady. Backstoffer to Colomb. The color, I don't think it is possible, but yes, it is even darker. No doubt. This is black, dark, purple, dark, ruby red, strong lines in the glass. I would think even more alcohol. Yes, 15.1% alcohol, ladies and gentlemen. That's heavy. That is by all standards a high alcohol wine. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. Beautiful. Some licorice in the nose, in addition to the blackberry overwhelming fruit, in addition to the oak notes and the vanilla notes, multifaceted in the nose again, just like the Tocalone from Mondavi. But I do like the Cliff Lady Backstopper Tocalone in the aromas a tick better. Let's give it a whirl. So balanced, so smooth, incredible. Now this wine, $195, ah! which is about 160 to 180. The taste profile, even keel. The alcohol is in complete balance with a full body, uh, with the acidity, with a little bit of tannins, and an overwhelming fruit of blackberry. Let me get it another try. My reputation is on the line here. 5.0, ladies and gentlemen, 5.0. It doesn't get any better in Napa Valley. In this duel, the Cliff Lady, Best of us to Cologne wins this battle. I can only recommend to you, please try them if you get the chance. I know they're expensive, but they are worth every single dollar. That's it for tonight. If you like this show, please subscribe to it and like it. And I see you next Sunday.